Hi guys, this is a review, unboxing and installation of a stand a sit a desk from IKEA. Let's call it backend or backend. Uh, so back to online real quick. So doing some investigation about there's a lot of alternatives out there, but usually the price end up like 1000k. I end up just to give a try with IKEA version. So luckily there is local IKEA uh, when I had the chance to pick up one. So I went with, in my case, is white top and uh, uh, black uh, bottom. And you can see you have all other options also available as well. So let me do it again, guys, you can see it. So basically you can go all black, all grayish, whatever you prefer. The price will be remains close to what you, you see in here. So, um, so you will have your top. I guess the main idea here is that you can put whatever top you like after all. So this piece itself like 70 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, 70 the piece and the whole uh, metal portion, bottom portion is actually in these two boxes. So when you at least will do, if it will be like real pickup, don't forget that you have number two piece of two and second piece. So make sure that you have two pieces available. So and this uh, uh, electric slash mechanic stuff, it's uh, 400 itself. So, but once again, uh, uh, top portion uh, you can easily, let's say, along the way to change it from here to here, uh, to let's say other colors if you want to. The main idea uh, of specification it can hold um, uh, to 150 pounds, so and can go really. Let's read it out. So, the length it's 63. 63 inches, wide 61, which is good size uh, and height go ridiculously low and ridiculously high. I'm kind of taller guy, I would say, but it's uh, uh, the topper position. It's way too, uh, uh, way too big for me. So basically, uh, uh, whatever you are, uh, whoever you are, you most probably uh, will uh, find this uh, table suitable for you. So yeah, so let's start unboxing. And yeah, let's see this in action. Yeah, thank you. All right, so let's do unboxing. We have a tool for the job. So it will be number, let's start logically with number one. Oh, it's sealed, so I don't need a knife. So yeah, I guess it's good here. Or maybe I can open from the side. I know another, I need to figure out this. Maybe we can start with this bit. Number two box, this is more heavier one. So, oh, it was quite a task, so I decided to do this from the side. So everything glued, so you must probably don't need even that. So, tada, open up. Oh, a lot of stuff. So, this is the back for your cable management. Not super elegant solution, but still like will, will hide all your cables, power cables, etc. Underneath nicely. Uh, other guys, I believe, charge for similar solution like 1500 on top. So, and a nice one addition uh, to have it as part of the uh, deal. So, uh, a lot of screws for to have everything done. Put them aside, and all this I still need to find out the manual. Hmm. IKEA well known for good manuals, and I need one. So logically, at least I don't see the manual on instruction. It's actually instruction for, for so assembling now. So I need to go back to box number one, two. Hopefully instruction will be there. So again, the same procedure. To, and once again, this is more heavier one. So open from this side and once again glue it. So no knife, no other tools required, but need pay patience a little bit time to open it right. 
So box number two is open. And ta-da! We have menu and instruction. I believe it's about design. It's fine. And here's instruction. Let's quickly look up. And actually, yeah. Hope so. And I believe they do have PDF anyway on the website. So other guys, you need to look up or back for uh, another instruction. So this is doing online. So four steps. It's they call this four steps, but this one w will take a while. It's like def definitely a lot of steps in between. But yeah, let's keep going. Wow, I'm kind of already reflect this indication this is a job for two people let's say and the last part you will install your power uh, cables and uh, you can put them on either side left to the right it depends of your setup and maybe move it after that but you uh, it will be screwed yeah screw, you will use screws so you can unscrew it later on so kind of not a big deal no, no big commitments and once again it's 70 kilos so most probably you wouldn't be sitting there and having uh, a swingy up and down fun so yeah this one and yeah most heavier part it actually lacks Oh wow, it's hard to even pull it. But yeah, it's here, and additional extra box. Oh, yeah, and here's, we have cables, definitely, that we need to. We have the small one, as you can see, it's only up and down, nothing too fancy. There is no memory, there is no digit digitizer. So basically, a button uh, and stop anywhere, and you need to hold it to stop. So there is, like, when you push it, it's go. Uh, up or down as as long you you keep it press it uh, so yeah and it's a charger as well so all right and here uh, you have uh, due to safety they have this trigger that you can use so and they have both uh, two of them so it's good to keep one somewhere aside and one definitely need to keep inside. Uh, without it, it will not move. So, for example, if you have uh, kids or, or you would like to protect and make sure that your hide is kind of solid, uh, you, you should uh, take it out. So, but usually I believe it will be uh, always on, maybe without this ring. Make sure that it's every, every, every time will be there. So, yeah, thank you guys. Just took care of step one. Step two, three, put the final wax under floor and put this adjustable so you will be able to screw and adjust the height. So bottom part done, I believe it's the lowest position that you can do. So and the next big item will be deal with top part. So, but I need to stop right now, so continue in a few. Thank you. It's getting closer, so I snap it top part to bottom part. So right now it's main idea only to use the wireless. So it's not super clear, but so you have flexibility to put a controller whenever you want or for whatever position or maybe even on the side huh interesting on the side idea all right uh, so it will be yeah it's really bulky i would say cables i don't really like this one like uh, and as a result it should be connected like this i guess it's the main picture i wish they will display it a better way but yeah it's doable so when, once again almost one man work so far so yeah here's pre-final setup so it goes in my case on that side you will connect so you have two connectors for for each side so one goes to remote uh, uh, one uh, should uh, two legs should be connected so you will have basically dummy uh, uh, wires here i'm not sure 
wait, yeah, maybe. No, there is no way to hide this uh, in this pipe. But yeah, you connect this, and the last piece you just click it. A force connector. It goes right here. Yeah, you have. You heard the click. This one goes somewhere. Will be hidden here under this bag or net. It, uh, everything will be hidden and definitely additional uh, cable management uh, will be done um, especially for these things make sure that it's like clip it or at least tape it somehow make sure that it's solid and, and never kind of goes down while you're sitting or standing after that yeah time to put that net so it has two connectors so you will use this too long and uh, four goes in the middle along and four uh, at the corners two in the middle and uh, long and two sh uh, and four short in the corners so but before doing this i believe it's matter to give it give a try if it works because even right now i should be able to actually turn it on and it will be kind of funny We'll go up and down hmm. or maybe no let's see net slash back for cable is done i would say it's pretty tight so and i believe there's you can put a lot of other stuff that you may do with your cables so yeah it's once again two in the middle and four in the corners and the last piece it's only a controller and here's only two screws so there is kind of generic so if you need to kind of change them out oh next time to let's say change location of your table uh, you can use whatever screw you can find yeah so it's matter to turn it back and find the better spot for this thing i don't want to screw it right now i would rather do it when it's kind of it's on maybe not the best but still i would like to figure out the better spot in this direction where it's, uh, the desk will stand thanks here's final setup legs can see how, how much space do we do we have here it's like 23 inches monitors enough space to put some docking stations this is a smaller one for um, Microsoft uh, Surface Pro um, I end up putting this on this side the idea maybe will be put and hide it there completely uh, well, um, the biggest challenge was really I need to screw uh, to screw them into this hard uh, table. So when we go down, a little bit sneak peek about cable management. So yeah, still can be done better. Uh, most there's zero cables here. Everything hidden under this bag. I here to put some additional stuff. Make sure that not stick like that mm. cables from monitor need to be done so basically one plug go here and all magic and nasty stuff happen underneath so yeah let's put just the button once again you need to keep and hold it all platform goes down goes ridiculously low as you can see it turns to normal table when you put your chair next to it you will have everything you need uh, cable and monitors from here tied at there two two should be tied at here and maybe snap it somewhere underneath for, for better looking but other than that it's a good decent setup and i'm pretty sure if I will do this right, most probably I can squeeze even three monitors. It was also idea to put three monitors at this, on this table. Seems to be a lot of room uh, out there, so most probably I need even to push back our monitors a little bit far. So, yeah, you got the idea. So it was IKEA 
backend uh, assistant sit at desk yeah thank you for watching if any questions let me know thank you bye bye